The FBI just released their 2024 cybercrime report showing $16.6 billion in losses and only 5% of hackers ever get caught. But here's the insane part. The ones who do get caught all made the same three stupid mistakes, and I'm about to show you exactly how the FBI tracks down cybercriminals using real case studies. And before we get started, if you want to actually learn this stuff properly with real labs and step-by-step -step courses, join our private community. First link in the description. More on that later. All right, so we're looking at the FBI's 2024 report, and the numbers are insane. $16.6 billion in losses from over 859,000 complaints, and only about 5% of cybercriminals actually get caught. So what are those 5% doing wrong that the other 95% are avoiding? First way hackers get caught is operational security failures, specifically for getting to use VPNs. There's the case of Guccifer 2.0, who leaks Democratic National Committee data, and you'd think someone pulling off a hack that big would have their OPSEC locked down. Wrong. The hacker forgot to activate their VPN for locking on one single time, and investigators trace the IP directly. One mistake after hundreds of successful logins, and the entire operation was compromised. LulzSec was even worse. These guys were hitting PlayStation, Fox News, and the FBI itself, and they got caught because Lance Moore used his actual AT&T VPN login to pull data from AT&T servers and then posted it publicly. AT&T traced it to their server, checked the logs, and found Moore was one of very few people who accessed that data. Second way is cryptocurrency tracing. The 2024 report shows nearly 150,000 complaints involved crypto, amount to $9.3 billion in losses. Every transaction is permanently recorded on a public blockchain, and organizations like TRM Labs work directly with the FBI to trace these transactions. They identified at least $10.7 billion in crypto sent to fraudulent schemes in 2024. Once the FBI identifies one wallet address connected to a crime, they trace the entire flow of funds, and eventually someone has to convert that crypto to real money at exchanges that require KYC. IC verification. Third way is pure hubris and bragging. Josh Hawley hacked Miley Cyrus's Gmail, and instead of staying quiet, he gave interviews to bloggers and bragged on hacker forums. The FBI traced his IP from those posts. Now here's where it gets interesting from a defensive perspective. The FBI isn't just waiting for hackers to make mistakes, they're actively setting traps. Honeypots are decoy systems designed to look like legitimate targets, but they capture every single action an attacker takes. When a hackers interact with these honeypots, the FBI collects intelligence on their tools, techniques, and infrastructure. This intelligence gets shared globally, and suddenly that unique malware signature connects you to 50 other attacks. The FBI's recovery asset team is devastatingly effective. In 2024 alone, they froze over $561 million in fraud transfers with a 66% success rate. Even if you transfer money internationally, the FBI works with foreign law enforcement to track and freeze those funds. You might think you got away clean, but three months later, your entire operation gets rolled up because the FBI was quietly tracking everything. Here's the reality. The infrastructure for tracking cybercriminals is getting better every year. The FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center has received over 9 million complaints since 2000, and they use all that data to build profiles of attack patterns. They know which malware families are connected, which cryptocurrency mixers criminals prefer, which VPN providers keep logs. And here's where this connects to why you should care. When you're doing penetration testing, understanding exactly how attackers get caught is how you demonstrate real value value to clients. You're explaining the clients how their logs could be used in federal investigations, how their incident response would hold up under FBI scrutiny. This separates script kiddies from security professionals who understand the complete threat landscape, including law enforcement. If you like the way I break this stuff down and you actually want to learn hacking the right way, then check out Cyberflow's Academy, my private community. Inside, you get full step-by-step -step courses on ethical hacking, bug bounty, web hacking, OSINT, Python, C++, and reverse engineering, plus a private Discord where you can ask me anything and learn alongside people already getting insane payouts. You also get all my cyber docs, the cheat sheets, workflows, recon templates, OSINT checklists, exploit notes, and practical challenge-based labs that actually force you to apply the skills. 
plus the $1,000 playbook that shows you how to make your first grand from hacking. And we include all my tools and setups, so your machine is ready from day one. If you want all that, courses, labs, playbooks, everything, it's in the first link in the description. See you inside.